the best thing to do is to hear from someone who has children in the school. And so I like to invite Joe and Annie and their children to come forward. I practice their last name all the way up the front aisle, and I'm afraid I don't remember it very well. So Joe, Annie, and their children, let's welcome them. <laughs> Hello, St. Michael's enthusiasts, <laughs> faculty, parents, and anyone who forgot that today was the Catholic school mass. <laughs> Before we dive in, let's take a trip down memory lane. Picture this. It's the late 80s, early 90s. Girls wore bangs and scrunchies. Boys wore Bulls t-shirts and starter jackets. We all made mixtapes by recording the radio, and while we didn't have streaming services, TGIF was there for us on Friday nights. No cell phones. Most families didn't have the internet. Two bright-eyed kids navigating their way through different Catholic schools. My wife, Annie, right here at St. Michael. Me, just a few miles away at St. Catherine of Alexandria. A lot has changed in 30 years, but what we want to talk about this morning are those things that didn't change. My name is Joe Nidick. <laughs> I'm honored to stand here today with my wife Annie, our sons Mikey and Patrick, and our daughter Abby, to briefly share our experience. So continuing our story, we find ourselves back in the world of Catholic education, but this time as parents of three amazing kids. It's like coming full circle, but with fewer neon colors and more responsibilities. Surprisingly, shaggy hair, mullets, and perms are popular during both periods. <laughs> St. Michael became our choice, a place where knowledge, guidance, hope, and faith are not just fancy words, but the cornerstones of a vibrant community. These are the things that didn't change. Timeless values woven like a common thread in this supportive environment that we as parents wanted for our kids, but also wanted for ourselves. Good morning, Wildcats. Education has always been a focus in my life as a student and as a high school teacher. We put a great deal of thought into our decision to send our children to St. Michael's School. I remember touring the school during open house about 10 years ago. It was really fun to come back to SMS and it was only natural that I took notes on some things that had changed since I was a student. The desks and hallways were smaller than I remembered as a child. <laughs> the beautiful large gymnasium had been built. A phenomenal pre-K program filled the lower commons. Country House served home-cooked meals for lunch. Kindergarten was full day. There were smart boards in every classroom. Safety and security had become a priority. Before care, an extended day were added to help busy families. Smaller class sizes allowed for more individualized attention for students. The boys wore royal blue polos instead of light blue polos. While it was interesting to see some of the changes that had taken place since 1995, <laughs> <clears throat> I was also excited to learn that some things were still the same. Eighth grade partners were still making bears for their first grade partners. The cheerleaders were still winning state titles. Colorful student work still filled the hallway walls. Hot dog day was still a highlight each month. Spanish was still part of the daily curriculum for junior high students. The creative video club still broadcasted the news to the student body. The second graders still prepared for their first Holy Communion together and looked forward to wearing their communion suits and dresses to the May crowning. Cursive was still taught and practiced. Each class still choreographed a Trotathon pep rally song and dance. Students still said the Pledge of Allegiance and prayers to start each day. 
Athletes still displayed great sportsmanship as they competed for championships. The actors and actresses still performed on the stage in the play. Girls still wore those cute plaid jumpers. And these were some of the observations from that open house tour 10 years ago. Joe and I hoped to find a school that would offer our children the best environment to learn academic subjects, inspire extracurricular interests, support social emotional development, and build a faith foundation to last a lifetime. We walked out knowing that St. Michael's School was a special place. We were most impressed with the people in the church and in the school. There were dynamic teachers, inspirational faith leaders, caring administrators, engaged parents, involved grandparents, and confident students. We enrolled Mikey in pre-K-3 that following year. We blinked and here we are today about halfway through our journey as a Wildcat family. We are much more tired than we were 10 years ago and may have a few more gray hairs. Watching our children grow and learn in a Catholic community has been a blessing. It warms my heart when they come home and tell me they saw each other in the hallway or at the all-school mass. I love to see their eyes light up when they tell me they watched chicks hatch in their classroom, when they dance in the Three Piggy Opera or shop for me at Santa Workshop. <laughs> Mikey is in sixth grade, Patrick is in third grade, and Abby is in pre-K four. They'd like to share a brief update on how things are going as students at SMS. Hello and good morning. My name is Mikey Nydick. I think St. Michael School is such a great school. Here are a few reasons why. SMS has lots of extracurricular activities. Some of these can include band, lectures, altar serving, robotics, and many more. Also, congrats to the two robotics teams that qualified for state yesterday. We also have such an awesome athletics program. Anyone can play any sport they want after third grade. There are also many parents who would like to volunteer to coach their kids. This school has so many fun activities. St. Michael School has given me so many fun memories. Some of these memories can include dunking my dad in the dunk tank at the back to school barbecue. <laughs> Another fun memory is hanging out with my friends before and after sports. St. Michael School has such a great teaching program too. These teachers can range from student teachers to very well experienced teachers. No matter what, they are always great, great teachers with lots of fun activities planned for us. St. Michael School is such a great school. And now, my little brother Patrick. Hello, my name is Patrick. I like St. Michael School because there are so many good teachers. They make learning fun. They pick good learning activities. The food here is delicious. My favorite lunch is spaghetti. Now my sister. Hello, my name my name is Abby and I love of St. Michael School so much and all the nice people there. Thank you, Abby. So in closing, I would say that it's nice to know the people that you go through life with and share experiences with. It's even nicer to know that you're part of a community that will help your family grow in all aspects of life and faith. St. Michael School was founded in 1949 it's a place that consistently delivers on educational excellence and core values. For 75 years, traditions have been building, and we've embraced many of these traditions, but we've also been a part of bringing new ideas and starting new traditions. 
Whether you're just starting out or you've been with the school for years, there is room for you, your perspective, your involvement, your contributions. And we look forward to shaping the next chapter of this story together. Thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. I told you they can do that better than me. So. And now I'd like to invite our RCA candidates to